You want some corn, huh? Yeah. You like ethanol. Ah! <laughs> Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. How many of you have heard this before? Bro, you gotta get that ethanol free gas. E10 is bad for your engine. That's a myth. It is true that on older engines or small ones like this weed eater, ethanol can cause some problems, but the main reasons behind that don't apply to modern turbo cars. In modern automotive engines, not only is E10 not harmful for the engine, it's actually better, especially if it's a turbo engine that's being tuned. There's two key points that are most often misunderstood about this topic. Myth number one, ethanol is gonna damage or gum up my fuel system. Ethanol is hygroscopic, meaning it can absorb water from the air. Naturally, water in your fuel is bad, but that only becomes a big issue if it sits for an extended period of time. And that amount of time varies quite a bit depending on certain environmental conditions, like the humidity in the air. The claim is that ethanol causes parts of your engine or your fuel system to become gummed up or experience corrosion. It can be true with older engines as they have several parts containing ferrous metals that respond poorly to the presence of alcohols or small amounts of water. But again, it's not a problem with modern platforms as they've been engineered for at least partial use of ethanol. Myth number two, ethanol requires increased injection. So doesn't that mean it has less potential energy by volume compared to 100% gasoline? This is a classic example of knowing a little bit doing more harm than good. That statement's true at face value, but it completely ignores the much more substantial benefits that come from the very same properties within ethanol. Ethanol has a greater latent heat of vaporization compared to pure gasoline, meaning it absorbs a greater amount of heat energy from its surroundings. So the increased presence of ethanol in the charged air fuel mixture improves resistance to knock by significantly reducing the combustion chamber temperature. That allows the engine to run optimal ignition timing for improved power, efficiency, and safety. All of this also applies to E85 and flex fuel applications, but those topics are a bit more advanced. This video is very simple. If you have a car that's supported by cob tuning, E10 at the pump isn't something to avoid. It's a good thing.